Introducing the Facebook Sales Funnel. Don't just generate likes, but actual paying customers too. We take your business to new heights with our one-of-a-kind HTML5 designs developed by Manny Lopez, the creator of FB Simplicity and PLS Tips with Manny. Completely customizable with a drag-and-drop editor and make Facebook simple with FB Simplicity, our exclusive video coaching series. Everything you need to become a Facebook superstar. Hey, you don't get named one of the best by Facebook without getting results. Get your very own Facebook sales funnel today at GetMyFacebookWebsite.com. Hey guys, welcome to a brand new edition of PLS Tips with Manny. As always, I'm your host, Manny Lopez. Each week, I bring you guys different tips and strategies on how to be effective in marketing the Power Lead System. So in this week's training, we're going to teach you guys how to motivate your lazy team members. As you guys can see, we've got a nice new little backdrop here. Uh, I got a nice little early birthday present from the wife, which is a new little workstation, which I'm uh, working on right now. So uh, what I want to show you guys here today, though, is uh, just some different tips and strategies that I'm already using that is helping me motivate the team members that are just not doing nothing, the one that are not taking advantage of the opportunities they have in front of them. So uh, let's jump right in. But first things first, though, I guys want to give you guys a big shout out. And thank you, thank you very much for taking advantage of last week's uh, training that I put together for the uh, Power Lead System and our Facebook sales funnel. We had dozens of people take advantage of that offer last week. And I'm just really, really excited and thankful for you guys uh, for just showing the love and, and uh, jumping on board with that. So uh, if you guys have not gotten it yet, go to uh, getmyfacebookwebsite.com and uh, get your own Facebook sales funnel. But uh, right now we're going to jump right into our new week's training. So let's get right into it. So as we see here, um, I put together another blueprint uh, this week so you guys have something to be able to download and reference to and uh, really just take action on. So uh, here's a list. I put together eight different uh, strategies that I'm currently using right now to help motivate my team members. So first things first is number one is let's hear their side. Um, I do that because I really want to understand the people I'm working with. You know, if I'm going to go and do uh, invest my time in helping you build your business or helping you build whatever it is that you're looking to do, you know, I want to figure out who you are because that's the only way I'm going to be able to sit there and come back to you and tell you, all right, this is what you're going to need to do. This is how you're going to need to outline this. This is what you're going to need to do to keep yourself uh, in a positive mindset. Because uh, and if you don't understand the people that you're working with, you know, you can't go in there and, and touch their hot buttons. That's going to get them to take action. You know, find out what it is that makes them tick. Find out why it is that they're trying to work from home. Why it is that they're trying to build a business. You know, it's really you need to understand their why. If you don't know why they're looking to do what they're doing, there's no way that you're going to come back to them and say, remember, this is why you're doing it. This is why you need to keep focus. This is why you need to stay motivated. So just get into what it is that makes them tick. Uh, so this way you guys can just understand your people and the people that are on your team so you know how to approach them when you're looking to uh, you know, get them on an upsell, get them to uh, contact more leads, get them to take action on something, get them to register for an event that you're doing, get them to invite people out to an event. You just have to find ways uh, to get in touch with their needs, okay? All right, so that's number one. Uh, number two is work their passion. Uh, so what I put here is no one is motivated unless they have something to be motivated about. Find out their passion and develop a way for them to stay focused on what you need them to do while they get one step closer to their goal. So it's kind of figuring out more on that, uh, hearing their side, getting them to find out what's distracting them uh, from not just committing to what they need to do. Because, you know, if you find something that you're passionate about and you decide, you know, no matter what, I'm going to be successful at this because if I complete this, that's one more step closer to doing what I want to do for my life. Uh, for me, what I've been wanting to do, I've, I've kind of hit that goal already. So I just got to kind of figure out some new goals, which my goal was to develop my own brand, my own business, and to be able to work from home on that business and be able to spend that time with my boys. You know, I've got my two boys here at home. Uh, they're actually right down the room right now. Um, the bigger, bigger one's doing his homework. The little one's actually cleaning the room. So uh, hopefully you don't see them running around too much around here. But um, that's what I do. I, I love to stay home, hang out with my kids, hang out with my wife. And, uh, and just be a blessing to my family and, and be there for them without having to, you know, spend those 10, 12 hour work days away from your family, you know, trying to build something uh, and get it to where it needs to be at. You know, I've developed that in the last four or five years 
to get me to where I need to be at now. And, uh, and it's just at this point, just growing it, growing and growing it. And, but you just got to make sure you're spending that time, the quality time with the people that really you care about and what's really going to make you motivated in life. Um, it's going to be something It's going to be tied to somebody or something that's going to change somebody or yourself's life. So really just get into that mindset of, of finding a way to motivate people by giving them a positive mindset and giving them to stay focused on their goals, their passions and their dreams. Okay. Uh, all right, so that's number two. Now let's go to number three is get competitive. This is where it starts to get fun. So what I said here is when you, uh, when you are in direct sales, kind of competition is exciting. Create a unique way to get motivated by incentivizing your team. It doesn't always have to be monetary value. Get creative and resourceful to things that don't have out-of-pocket expenses like, you know, coaching sessions. You know, maybe you'll say, hey guys, um, whoever you know, gets the most amount of contact. It doesn't have to be sales. It could just be more the most appointments or the most responses to your email, the most, you know, develop something that doesn't just have to go on, hey, whoever gets the most sales this week gets an extra 50 bucks, 100 bucks. Come on, everybody does that kind of stuff. So be creative. Do something like, hey guys, I'll do a one-on-one -on -one coaching session. We'll map out a blueprint for you, uh, specific just for you. And I'm gonna focus on just an hour worth of my time. Whoever gets the most amount of contacts this week, so the most amount of responses, the most amount of registers for our you know, live hangout this week or something like that. So just stuff like that where you just, Find a way to get creative in it. Um, another thing is putting stuff together like, you know, loser has to do this. You know, whoever gets the least amount of whatever it may be, um, you know, they have to do some type of, you know, prank or something that just embarrasses them. Uh, it just makes it fun, you know, gets them to say, you know, I'm not gonna be the worst, you know? So it's just, they're gonna just do that extra effort and hey, it may just result in an extra couple sales, a couple more contacts for me that week. But hey, it's just getting people to take action, do something different versus just saying, hey, how come you're not making calls? Hey, da, 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 da. You know, just find a ways to get everybody motivated at the same time. And, uh, and if you need to get that one-on-one -on -one effort with someone, just again, you figure out what their passion is, figure out what's making them tick and, uh, and get a way to motivate them using that, okay? Uh, the next thing I have is here, create a Facebook group. And what I put here is a great way to keep your team motivated would be to create a team Facebook group. Everyone on the team is in it and they can post their latest strategies and tips that have been working for them. Also a way to spread motivational messages. And this could be a great way to get exposure for your team as well. So if you have you know, a pinned post that says, hey, join our team by going to this website or something like that. Um, you can do something like that and keep it as an open group or a closed group where people are able to invite people to that and, uh, and just use it as a way to grow uh, your team member base and exposure base. So it's a, a great way to get exposure that way. Uh, you also have another way, uh, number five I put is morning motivational text and emails. Uh, with this, um, what I put here is each morning, a select few on my team I know needs an extra kick in their day. I'll send them a morning text message with motivational quote. Uh, make sure this text motivational goes directly to your agents. Do not mass message. So don't do like a group message that goes to everybody at the same time. You know, it just doesn't doesn't give them a personal effect and the, most likely is just going to get ignored. So what I like to do is I just give a personal message. And if you have to copy and paste it to 10 people, just do it. I mean, it takes an extra 10 seconds. Excuse me. Takes an extra couple seconds just to be able to send it out, you know, individually, you know, copy, paste, send, copy, paste, send. I mean, it's not that difficult, guys. And it just shows that you're giving that personal touch to them and, uh, and you'll be able to see who's responding because you'll get those individual responses back versus those mass messages that everybody starts getting blasted out saying, hey, you know, they asked a question, then 15 other people got that same message. You know, just be very personable with it, guys, because again, these people want to know, these people on your team want to know that you care for them, that you're there for them. They got a support system. They have somebody there that's going to answer their questions or at least have somebody there that's going to give them a resource to be able to answer their questions. You know, maybe you have uh, all of the access of the frequently asked questions section on the site and you just know exactly where each question goes or you can just refer them to that. Or maybe you have a good trainer on your team that, uh, that you can always re reference people to that was always willing to take those calls. You know, so people on my team, I always tell them, hey, send them to me, send them to Mandy, send them to the guy who trains the people on this on a weekly basis, you know, send it to them because, you know, your success is my success. If I can get you producing results and you're on my team, well, obviously, you know, I'm getting that 50% matching bonus. I get those roll ups from every other roll up they get. So you've got all of the incentive to be able to make sure that your team is going to be successful and, uh, and just put in the time and the effort to make sure that they are. You know, I would do what I like to do on as well. I didn't even mention this is create a group on your contact manager, because when you get people that sign through the power lead system, 
they don't get automatically added into a group that you can just email out. I wish they did, and that's something that I should talk to Neil about. But um, that's something that you, I would do is I create my own group that says, you know, PLS customers or PLS affiliates. Uh, and then this way I, I create an email group that just, I'll email blast. And I'll say, hey guys, make sure you get on the Hangout. Hey guys, make sure you check out this training. Hey guys, check out this new feature that, you know, Neil launched yesterday or something. So we just gotta have a way to keep direct communication with them. Actually, I, I guess I do mention that, but um, I did mention grouping them out within your contact manager though. So group them out on your contact manager. If you have to, you can add them in one by one uh, or create a lead capture page and shoot that to everyone who signs up. Say, hey, make sure you get on my email list. So this way you guys know that I have um, you know any new things with our PLS customers and our new PLS affiliates stuff like that uh, we can break that down to you guys okay uh, all right so the next one number six is find a common hobby so what I put here was people tend to work harder for people they care about become a friend to want to your team members a little investment in time can go a long way just a simple phone call out of the blue to see how they're doing can do wonders you never know when you can reach out to someone that really needed it that day. Find something in common that you both could participate in. You know, maybe just an online game for your cell phone, maybe it's fantasy sports, who knows? Just find something that you can relate to. So that just really gives them the ability to um, just find out something that you can relate to them so you guys have something on common ground that you guys can talk about. You know, maybe it's something that, uh, just a simple online game, maybe a TV show that you guys watch together well, not together but you know i watch this at my house you watch it at your house stuff like that hey maybe you guys watch it together who knows you know if you had that type of friend um i don't think you have a problem keeping that person motivated you guys are hanging out and stuff like that so that's cool but yeah just find something you can relate to them maybe you guys like uh find similar interests that are on their facebook group or their facebook page the profile um you know people list everything that's on there so uh, become friends on facebook you know share tag them in posts and stuff like that i mean don't get overly crazy with it where you're tagging them like every other day or every day with 10 posts and hey check out this photo check out this photo but you know just stuff that you know is going to be beneficial to them and uh, and you're not just being spammy with it you know you're not here to try and sell people you want to build the relationship um i don't know if i'm hearing those screams there but uh you probably you want to build a relationship get them to say you know what uh, this is what uh this is what a team is all about just staying resourceful staying committed and staying like a family just get them to say you know what this is someone who really cares about my success and is not just there to take my money and to say hey give me my money every month and my commission no i want to make sure you're successful because if you're successful i'm successful and not only are you going to bring more people into our team which is going to make us more income and grow our team as well but it's just going to show me as a leader in the industry, show yourself as a leader, because if I can get you to the point where you can understand it as simple as I can teach it, then you can go and teach that exactly the same way. And duplication uh, is successful. You know, the, what I do is, is try to set up as many systems as possible. Just like you saw with that getfacebookwebsite.com, you go there, it shows you the layout of what it is that we do. Then it goes and tells us, uh, all right, this is how we sell it. Uh, and then goes bam right into, um, you know, getting them to sign up. So you go right into a complete funnel from start to finish that just gets them from beginning to end of what you need them to do without you having to get in contact with them. And then after the fact that once they're in your system and they're already into your funnel, now you have ways to contact them multiple different avenues. I always like to grab the phone number, the email address, uh, and just reach out to them as quickly as I possibly can. All right, and then the next one I have is number seven, break bread together. Uh, what I put here is, hey, I know some of your team members are across the globe, like myself, you know, I signed up people from all over the world. Um, you know, the, the farthest one, um, you know, we went from Japan, I got someone from England, uh, New Zealand, um, obviously across the United States as well, but those are the ones that really stand out. I know someone from the Middle Eastern country as well, but um, I mean, that's just in the last, uh, last week or so. So, you know, we want to make sure that, uh, you know, you got people all across the globe, but the people that are local, you know, I find some of the people that signed up through my Facebook website that are right down the street from me, you know, a guy that's uh, in Newport Beach, you know, and I'm in Anaheim. So we're right down the street. We're going to go and grab a cup of coffee together pretty soon. So that's the type of stuff that you should do. Grab a cup of coffee, grab lunch, grab dinner, you know, invite them to your house or something like that. So you guys can just find a way to find something on common ground. Um, you know, hang out with them, build a bond, build a relationship because it's all about building relationships, guys. If you can go out there and you can build relationships with 10 people, okay, they're going to refer you to at least two or three people. If you can just find some type of common ground, show a value in what you bring to the table and they're going to find clients for you. If you just go out there and you just try and sell them, 
and you say, hey, buy this, check out my website, do this, do that, you know, they're just going to think, oh, it's just another guy trying to spam me. But if you go on there and you say, hey, you know, what do you like to do? What, what, what makes you tick? What's, what's your passion? You know, um, how's the weather? How's this? You know, do you have any kids? Do you have family? What, what do you like to do for fun? Uh, just find something that is just outside of just asking them about their business or asking them about what they do for a living or asking them about how much money they're making or how much money they want to make. You know, that's the type of stuff that you get when people start asking questions about your business. But when you want to build a relationship with someone, ask questions about them. Don't ask questions or don't talk about you. Ask questions about them. People love talking about themselves. So just go there and, and just be an open mind and just be a sponge of knowledge and, uh, and what they're talking about because just by them talking about themselves, they're gonna give you uh, plenty of different tools and resources of what it's gonna to take to sell them on your business, okay? I don't know if you can see that, but you can go on the floor. I need to finish this, okay? You need what? Fruit? Okay, go read All right, so um, number eight here. So last thing I wanna cover is uh, the weekly coaching, training, and conference calls. So if you wanna find a great way to motiva motivate people, put together stuff like I do coaching videos every week or something like that that just shows that you're out there spreading knowledge about how to be successful in whatever it is that you're doing um, sharing different tips and stuff like that so what I put here is I put new agents or low producing agents want to see that they have a support system in place to help them grow or get them to where they need to be be that system host weekly coaching and trainings put together conference calls even if it's just getting people excited about the opportunity again you can also use these as a great lead generation source um, so if you don't have the ability to go and put together video coaching and stuff like that, put together a simple email through Power Lead System, you know, once a week, uh, an email every Wednesday or Thursday or something that says, hey guys, tips of PLS or something like that, and just outline some, type it out saying, hey guys, this is what I'm doing this week, um, had some good success with some solo ads, or I did some stuff with this, I did a direct link here, I did some, you know, some swap listing here, uh, and had some success with doing this. So you just got to give out different tips and strategies on what is going to be successful and uh, and how to actually be effective in marketing these stuff so uh i know this one's probably really short let me look at what we're looking at on time here while well, i'm 16 minutes in so yeah i blow right through that guys can you guys pick those thank you Gosh. all right so um yeah so this is what we're looking at guys this is how to motivate uh some lazy team members i don't want to take up too much make it very quick uh, download the blueprint today. It's going to be in your back office. I'm also going to put it onto the uh, Facebook group, uh, which is the Facebook group dot, or Facebook.com slash group slash official PLS, I believe. Um, so jump on that and get those downloads. Um, take advantage of this and start implementing. And I want to see how effective these are for you guys. Um, start sharing these tips on the on the Power Lease System group. Share them in the comments below in the in the uh, in the chat feature. And uh, reach out to me on Facebook. Um, you can link into me at right on the bottom there. You'll see my name. I've posted a bunch of stuff today. So just click on my name, add me on Facebook. That way we can connect. And uh, again, if you guys want to reach out. Uh, re ask me anything, ask me any questions um, about the power lead system, how to market it. And if I, if I have the ability to uh, reach out to you that same day, I will, but at least within 24 hours, I should be able to get back with you guys. Um, so yeah, reach out to me if you have anything, but uh, this week, I think we'll wrap it up here. Keep it very short for you guys. I mean, we're looking at what, 17, 18 minutes. So um, have a great day with you guys and uh, I'll see you guys next week. And then we'll talk soon. Have a great one. Introducing the Facebook Sales Funnel. Don't just generate likes, but actual paying customers too. We take your business to new heights with our one-of-a-kind HTML5 design. Developed by Manny Lopez, the creator of FB Simplicity and PLS Tips with Manny. Completely customizable with a drag and drop editor. And make Facebook simple with FB Simplicity, our exclusive video coaching series. Everything you need to become a Facebook superstar. Hey, you don't get named one of the best by Facebook without getting results. Get your very own Facebook sales funnel today at getmyfacebookwebsite.com.